The AGM 88C Harm or High Speed Anti Radiation Missile is a supersonic air to surface missile that homes onto ground based radar installations. With the ability to carry up to four harms, the Hornet can be equipped as a SAAD aircraft. It uses a smokeless solid propellant rocket motor for propulsion, and once the guidance section locks onto an active radar, it will maneuver towards it using the guidance canards. The proximity fuse will then detonate its 65 kg explosive fragmentation warhead to disable or destroy the radar. The harm can be fired in one of three modes, self-protect or SP, target of opportunity or TOO, and pre-briefed or PB. The default mode for the harm is the self-protect mode where the missile will automatically lock onto any radar emitter that is tracking the aircraft. Target of opportunity allows the pilot to cycle between detected radar stations and select one as the active track. Pre-brief mode allows the pilot to designate a point as the radar station's location and fire a harm to go to that point. When the missile arrives at the target location, it will search for a pre-briefed radar emitter type and lock onto it. If that emitter is not found, it will disengage and collide with the ground. We will now take a look at how the harm can be used against an SA-11 surface-to-air missile installation in each submode. Self-protect or SP mode. Set master arm to arm, select air to ground master mode and select harm. Select SP or self-protect mode. The locked radar emitter will be boxed and harm will be displayed when the missile is ready to fire. Press the weapon release button and call Magnum. The harm is a fire and forget missile allowing the launching aircraft to be manoeuvred away after launch. If multiple emitters are available, shown here on the EW page, they can be cycled through using the RAID slash FLIRE FAV select button. Pressing the CAGE UNCAGE button will reset the selection to the highest threat target. Entering target of opportunity mode will display a live feed from the missile seeker's point of view, as well as any radar contacts it has detected and identified. Selecting the sensor control switch left will assign the TDC to the left DDI, with the cage uncage button allowing the pilot to authorise the harm to lock onto a target, denoted by H off. The selected target can be cycled using the raise slash flare FAV button as before. Once the target has been locked and H off and harm are visible on the HUD, the weapon release button can be pressed to fire the missile. Magnum. Modifiers can also be applied when in TOO mode, such as changing the class of radar emitters that the missile will be able to target. Various options are available and are listed on the screen here. Pressing the reset button will deselect the current target and select the highest threat as the priority target. Pressing scan will display all currently detected radar emitters as well as the option to filter the radar by class. The limit option will filter out all but the 5 highest priority threats as opposed to the default 15 threats displayed. Pre-brief mode requires the pilot to know the type of radar system that the missile will need to target. The harm has certain programmable harm codes that relate to a specific radar emitter. Radar systems work using different pulse repetition frequencies and detection techniques. By detecting these frequencies and methods, the missile is able to differentiate between a hostile SA-11 and a friendly Patriot radar system. For the default DCS SA-11 SAM site, there are four Buck M1-2 Transporter Erector Launcher and Radar or TELAR vehicles that have the NATO reporting name GADFLY. They each have an integrated 9S35 Fire Dome radar with a corresponding harm code of 115. The SA-11 site also has a 9S-18 Snowdrift target acquisition radar, which corresponds to a harm code of 107. This allows the pilot to specify which radar system that they want to attack. With the harm selected, we can now select PB or pre-briefed mode, which will bring up some more symbology. Pressing UFC will allow us to input the target harm code that we discussed earlier. Once the code is inputted, the harm is now ready to use. Select the target waypoint and press waypoint designate. The two timers display the time of flight of both the current harm and the previously released harm, with the difference at the bottom. The pull-up mode can be changed between aircraft pull-up and harm pull-up. Selecting AC pull-up requires the pilot to initiate a loft manoeuvre, while the harm pull-up mode will make the harm do all the manoeuvring itself. Once in range, either AC range or harm range will then be displayed on the HUD, indicating the aircraft is within the attack envelope. 
Initiate a climb, keeping the flight path marker on the azimuth steering line. Hold the weapon release button, and as the flight path marker passes through the release queue, the weapon will be fired. Magnum. When harm override is unboxed, the harm will automatically activate when locked by a radar emitter. You can then fire the harm with the weapon release button, regardless of the currently selected master mode. This enables the pilot to quickly react to a SAM threat without having to set up the harm manually. When in self-protect mode, the harm can also be launched even when facing away from the threat. The missile will make a mid-course correction maneuver and fly back towards the targeting radar. That concludes this tutorial on the AGM-88C Harm. I hope you enjoyed and as always if you have any questions don't hesitate to put them in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them. Feel free to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more. Thanks for watching.